the day's finally come. I am going to, uh, we have tested this. It works fine, it works great. It's got a great picture on the inside. It is time to put this in its, uh, hopefully its permanent home, which is gonna be about 16 feet up higher than it is now, <laughs> than we are now, or above the ground. So I was gonna put it on the eave, or I was gonna put it on the roof, but I really don't want to put a hole in the roof. I'm still battling whether I'm going to put it. I may just uh, screw it under the eave. Uh, that'll also keep the weather off of it. I think it's got more than enough signal to reach out. We're going to start out there. I'm going to put it under the eave. I'm going to take a. I'm going to take it off the pole. I'm going to mount the pole up there first. Then I'm going to go up and try to mount it. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, let's get up on the ladder. See if we can't. Uh, Try not to hurt ourselves. Yeah, right. First thing first, let's get this antenna off here. Luckily, this is only held on by some wing nuts. Those are very easy to get off by hand. Hopefully that'll make it easier when it's up in the air and I go to install it. All right. I'm going to get this thing un, unscrewed off this base, get it up top. It'll be flipped upside down up there, but that's okay. This uh, dual, this uh, extension ladder here is uh, very, very hefty, very good quality. And when you're up this high, it makes all the difference in the world. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have find a spot here that's not too obtrusive to my barn. I have to put a couple points now. Okay, so there's that. Now I have to bring out the big boy. Let's see if we can put in one of these big old lag bolts. Okay. There are multiple pieces of metal to drill through. One of them's the J trim. One of them, the tin metal on the outside, and that's this is a thicker material when they build these houses for you. Uh, there are different grades of siding, and so this is a a very thick metal. It bounces when I push that in. It bounces right here. So I am assuming that there is no, there is no board there. It is also lower than my window. So if it's lower than the window, then they're more like, there's not a header board that goes all the way down. The header board probably goes up higher. So I got those on there. I'm gonna go down and get the antenna. Hmm, the end cap comes off. I'm gonna take that off so it makes it easy to get up there. Then we're gonna put this antenna on here and uh, then screw the antenna on. And then I'm gonna go through and I'll have to drill holes on the way down to hold the wire. Woo. Yeah, I love you wind. Nothing like a wind when you're 16 feet up in the air. This ain't nearly as bad as getting on the actual roof. That, my friends, is not fun. Been there, had to do that. And I hope to never have to do it again. These are wing nuts, so you push them in as far as you go and then spin them. And of course, the antenna is still hitting. So, I'm gonna tighten this down. I have to move that ladder one more time, but I will do that in conjunction with uh, hooking the wire up to it. Okay, so I'm gonna install these cable clamps right here. These will be holding the cable to the barn. 
The barn has screws, and they're in lines, if you can see them, in lines. That's where there's a two by four, or two by six, built to the barn, that's why they screwed to it. And I will drill a hole and attach these at those locations in order to hold the cable in place. Did you find a friend? Show my, show my buddy. Ribbit, ribbit. Always a critter on the farm. Was he living in the drainage pond? The downspout drain? Luckily, when I was put uh, by the spigot, we have lots of frogs out here. Luckily, whenever I put the uh, cable antenna line in, it's just, it's just a cable TV line. And when I put it in, I left plenty uh, of spare outside because I knew sometime or another. I was going to be installing this thing up on a roof. Well, that looks good. I'm going to tighten this down now. Fairly snug. Yeah, that's good. Snug. Before I forget about it, I'm going to put that end cap back on. Okay, so now I'm going to put these cable ties now, down now. I brought my other Milwaukee, my M12, because it'll do this work just fine. So, and then so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this cable in here. I could, I can't really get in there to do that. So I'm going to put one. I'm going to start them off right there. My drill. I'm going to pre-drill them. I'm really just cleaning up around here now. Getting, uh, trying to organize this a little bit. It don't have to be that pretty. Nobody sees it but us. I mean, really. a little strip. I'm going to have an extra wire on the ground. I could go into the house, pull that in. But why? I mean, it's extra wire and truthfully, I have a ton of it inside too. <laughs> so, you know, I think I bought a Forgot a hundred or th I think about a hundred footer pre-made cable. Could I have made my own? Yes. But you know why. So here's my cable. This is just temporary down here. I was just trying to keep varmints from trying to make their home in there. So I am gonna roll this up as neatly as I can get it here. And of course. It's going to have some natural twist in it. That wire does. I know. I know. But, oh well. And you know what I found? <gasps> Zip ties. Zip ties for everything. Probably put another one on it later. 
I think it's done. You know what? I think we're done. I'm getting to the point where I don't think I'm going to be taking much more stuff into the house. So I'll probably go ahead and put a permanent packing inside this. I'll go ahead and put the permanent seal around this also, which more than likely is going to be my uh, all-time favorite, Big Flex. Yeah. Another project. All right. It's another project that we uh, had around here to do. It's not a big one, but just something that I've had uh, sitting in my mind, wanting to get it done. Uh, next one, though, is uh, my next project is probably an antenna. Not this one. We're going to put the regular one on the old one that we were using for the barn that was originally bought for the RV. We're going to put it on the RV. Get rid of that old crank up uh, antenna, the old Yagi looking thing. Nah. We're going to put the good one on there. That'll be the next video for you. So, uh, hope this was helpful. It's very simple. Anybody can do this. So, uh, yeah. Get out there and do something. Check you out later.